In this video, we'll discuss proper air compressor maintenance for your EnergyLogic waste oil burner. Test the air compressor yearly or after every 3,000 hours of furnace operation. Test more for dusty conditions. You'll need the following tools. 1 8 inch Allen wrench, 6 inches or longer. 7 16 inch wrench. 9 64 inch Allen wrench. Flat blade screwdriver. Parts washer fluid. A shop towel. Rubber gloves safety glasses, and an EnergyLogic air compressor pressure gauge kit. Step 1. Replace the air filter. The air filter needs to be replaced annually. Step 2. Check the air compressor output by using the EnergyLogic compressor test kit. Remove the copper tubing from the outlet of the compressor and from the bulkhead fitting on the burner. Inspect for worn flares and replaces needed. Check for debris in the line. Clean by spraying parts washer fluid through the tubing. Attach both tubes to the gauge in the kit. Be careful not to make kinks in the tubing. Attach one of the tubes in the kit to the 3 16 inch outlet fitting on the compressor and the other tube to the bulkhead fitting. Step 3. Start the burner by setting the wall thermostat above room temperature. Note the air compressor output on the gauge. If the gauge reading is in the 9 to 11 PSI range, the air compressor is operating as designed and no further maintenance is required. Remove the test kit and reinstall the 3 16 inch tubing for normal operation. If the gauge reading is below 9 PSI, shut down the system and proceed as follows. Step 4. Check the coupling. Inspect the air compressor coupling by unplugging the burner, loosening the ignition transformer screws, and lifting it back on its hinge. Then, spin the squirrel cage and note if the coupling slips on the burner motor or air compressor shaft. If the coupling is slipping, use your 1 inch Allen wrench to tighten the set screw. Ensure that the set screws are on the flat of the shaft. If the screws are tight, inspect the metal ends of the coupling for damage. Replace the coupling if necessary. Step 5. Check the veins. Using a 9 64 inch Allen wrench, carefully remove the air compressor cover plate and carbon gasket. Inspect the carbon gasket for wear. You can reverse it if it's worn or replace if necessary. Spin the squirrel cage with a screwdriver. If the veins do not move in their slots as the rotor turns, clean them as well as the compressor body with parts washer fluid. If the veins are worn or damaged, you can purchase replacement kits. Reassemble the air compressor. Be careful not to over tighten the cover plate. Step 6. Cleaning. Be sure to wear your safety glasses for this portion of the service. First, disconnect the fitting at the air compressor outlet. Remove the veins and clean individually. Spray parts washer fluid into the air compressor inlet, outlet, and body. Spin the squirrel cage manually to circulate the cleaning fluid. Have a rag handy to catch excess cleaning fluid. Allow the compressor and veins to dry, then reinstall. Spin the compressor manually and make sure the veins move freely. Replace the carbon gasket and cover plate on the air compressor. Be careful not to over tighten the cover plate. Reinstall the air compressor filter and reconnect the outlet tubing. 